Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you the best things to find at the Dollar Tree to clean your bathroom. Welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. I'm Kristen, I am sister number two, and welcome to my bathroom. Now I usually am not showing people my bathroom, but my house went on the market last week and so I'm showing a lot of people my bathroom lately. As much as I really, really don't like cleaning, I need to keep my bathroom clean all the time. Now my friend Vanessa from The Lemonade Mom inspired me to do this post today because she is doing a week long post of Dollar Tree hacks, whether it's DIYs, what food to buy, what cleaning supplies. So go over to her site, The Lemonade Mom, and tell her that Kristen from Six Sisters sent you. Enough with me chatting. Let me show you my products and let me show you how I clean. All right guys, let's do this. So I'm headed to the Dollar Tree and these are the things I'm gonna buy today. A small container of Blue Dawn. I'm gonna buy two containers of baking soda because I can never have enough. I'm gonna try one of these scrubbers where you can put the soap in and it will come down automatically. A spray bottle just because mine is dead so I need a new one. Now I've heard rumor that these microfiber cloths are awesome so I'm gonna give it a try, see how I like it. I'm excited because it's only a buck. I was gonna pick up normal vinegar but they have cleaning vinegar here so I'm gonna try that, see how I like it. All right, so I have all of my stuff out. If you noticed, all my counters are completely bare so it will make it so much easier to clean. So I suggest doing that first. All right, to get everything ready, I'm gonna fill up my sponge with the soap in it half soap, half vinegar. Then I'm gonna take my squirt bottle and make a vinegar water solution. Now, growing up, I used to clean my grandma's house and this is the only thing she would allow on her mirrors, on her windows, everything. So the solution is one fourth cup per every gallon of water, but I like a little bit more vinegar in mine, so I'm gonna do about a fourth a cup per half gallon. Now, once you're done, filling up your water bottle, getting your spray ready. You put the lid on and you are good to go. So then I'm gonna take my spray and just spray it all over the bottom of my shower. I'm also gonna spray the grout where the water hits the most. Now when I'm all done with the grout, I'm just gonna hurry and do the shower door and all the inside of the glass. Then I'm gonna grab the other side of the glass and any other ledges, like where I keep my soap, shampoo, that kind of stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna close the store and let it soak. <laughs> okay, so while that is soaking, I'm gonna actually go soak the sink and soak the bathtub in the same vinegar spray. So by the time I've done the sinks and the bathtub, I'm ready to do my shower. So I grab my little soap squeegee and I am ready to clean. Now you want it all nice and soapy. Be sure to get all the places where your soap is, get your grout, get everywhere you sprayed. Then once you got it all soapy, I just turn the water on and just rinse it off with a sponge or cloth, whatever you like to use. So you first wanna do all the walls, get all the bubbles off and slowly work your way down. Then you're going to work on the bottom and push it towards the drain. All right, now I'm gonna take my microfiber cloth, the Dollar Tree one, and we're gonna see if it works. I'm gonna wipe down all of the vinegar and water off of my glass shower door. Now I'm just gonna do all the other glass, both the inside and the outside of the shower. All right, the microfiber cloth was awesome, and there are no streaks at all. All right, now I'm just gonna clean my sinks really quick. I'm using that same thing that I got from the Dollar Tree where the soap and the vinegar are mixed in. I'm also going to do the countertops with it because it's safe for my granite and I have a lot of hairspray and buildup. So my husband's, I'll just do the vinegar and water, but this one I want to use the soap. All right, once you're done, then you're just going to rinse it off with either a sponge or a cloth or whatever you want to use. Now again, make sure you're working from the outside to the sink. So I'm going to do my countertops first to push it towards the sink and then I'll rinse my sink very last. So while I'm here, I'm just gonna hurry and spray down the mirror with the same vinegar water that I used for the shower. It works great and street free and these cloths are pretty awesome. Now with the mirrors, you just wanna make sure that you're gonna work from the top and go to the bottom. I have to do it in two sections and then I'll do one big section through the whole thing. Now on to the bathtub. The bathtub is really easy because it doesn't have glass. 
again, you just want to make sure that you have soap everywhere. And don't forget the edges because sometimes dust and stuff piles up there. Then when you're done with the bubbles, it's time to rinse. Again, you're going to work from top going down so you can push it into the drain and then rinse the bottom when you're all the way done. And don't forget the front of your bathtub. I just take my wet sponge that I've used and kind of just clean it off a little bit. I have lots of little dirty handprints. <laughs> then when you're all the way done, you're going to take your microfiber towel, your vinegar water, and just shine all of your faucets. So this is my little tip, and it really does work. So I use baking soda whenever my towels start smelling a little mildewy. You know what I'm talking about. So you take all of your towels, you take a half a cup of baking soda, and then you just dump it in like it's your normal soap. Sprinkle it right on top of your towels, close it, and wash your laundry. All right, guys, that is all my Dollar Tree tips today. I would love to hear from you, and what are your favorite Dollar Tree cleaning things? All right, guys, hope you have a good day. See you later.